Boone, the proud CEO of the Registered Nurses Association of Ontario, RNO. I want to first set the stage for our next hour together. For the first 40 minutes, we will hear remarks from important guests and celebrate our this. Then we will be having a cheering the healthcare workers at the end of our award ceremony. Today, as part of our daily, what you know already, Together We Can Do It campaign. And to remind everyone that this week is Nursing Week. In fact, is the birthday of Florence Nightingale. I would say it's nursing month, nursing year, nursing millennium. We will give you instructions when we get to it. Nursing week is the annual celebration of the nursing profession and this year is unique. Not only does nursing week fall in the midst of a pandemic, it also coincides with the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birth the founder of modern nursing. This is why this year, 2020, was designated by the World Health Organization as the year of the nurse and the midwife. Long before COVID-19 decided to challenge us and visit us, Ontario's nursing associations, RNAO, ONA, Ontario Nurses Association, and we are PNs, Registered Practical Nurses Association of Ontario, decided to establish, with permission from Nursing Now International, the Nursing Now Ontario Awards to showcase the formidable work that nurses are doing day in and day out in our beautiful province. This award program builds on the goals of the World Health Organization and International Council of Nurses Nursing Now campaign, a global initiative aimed at improving health around the world by strengthening nursing. To celebrate the contributions made by nurses to nursing practice and the health and well being of Ontarians, this inaugural Nursing Now Ontario Awards ceremony is honoring one nurse practitioner, one registered nurse, and one registered practical nurse. When we started planning this award program early last fall, we expected, as we did with everything else, that we will be celebrating in person with big hugs and big cheers. Little did we know of COVID-19. So today, we are still celebrating with cheers, but no hugs because of celebrating physical distance. Nursing now is a time to pause, reflect, and recognize the award recipients and through them acknowledge the formidable work of the 97,890 RNs, 3,294 nurse practitioners, and 47,744 registered practical nurses who are providing the in and the out quality care to Ontarians everywhere in the province. We also salute the thousands of nursing students who are taking forward Florence Nightingale's lamp to cheer and to put the light on nursing in future generations. From the bedside to the classroom, to the boardroom, nurses and nursing students make the world a healthier place. I would like to introduce our award partner, the president of the Registered Nurses Association of Ontario, Angela Cooper Brathway, the president of the, nurse, of the Ontario Nurses Association, Vicky McKenna, and the CEO of WRPNs, Diane Martin. They will be presenting the award recipients to you. Thank you for partnering with us, colleagues, with our awesome teamwork, allow us to establish this first inaugural Nursing Now Ontario Award for years to come, we will continue. It has been a pleasure to work with you and your teams in bringing forward this vision to reality. The response to the inaugural award competition was phenomenal. 
And after 243 outstanding nominations, the three associations identified one winner in each category. We would like to thank the review committee for their hard and difficult work. From Ona, Angela Brocanin, and Catherine Hoy, from WeRPN's Norma Tomlin and Samantha Celatino, and from RNO, Julie Rovell and Heather McConnell. RNO acted as the secretariat, and we want to thank our colleagues, Heather McConnell, Marian Zich, Olga Gabriela, Victoria Larcon, and Erica de Souza for coordinating the logistic, logo, and communications. The review process was not an easy task, and all of those nominated demonstrated knowledge, compassion, and courage in various ways, and were highly regarded, of course, by their nominees, by their nominators. At this time, I would like to introduce our tremendous Honorable Minister of Health, Christine Elliott, Deputy Premier of Ontario and Ontario Minister of Health a position she has held since June 2018. I have worked closely with Minister Elliott through many, many, many years, but never so closely as during the pandemic, where we have been strong partners in our fight against COVID-19. We have had frequent, sometimes daily conversations, sometimes even discussions, as we have worked to address the critical issues associated with the pandemic to ensure the safety of Ontarians and of healthcare workers. It is my pleasure, Minister, to give you the podium or to give you the mic so that you can bring remarks to our awardees and to nursing in general. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Doris, and good afternoon, everyone. It truly is a pleasure to join you. I want to thank the Registered Nurses Association of Ontario, WeRPN, and the Ontario Nurses Association for the opportunity to uh, address you all today. I certainly appreciate every opportunity that I have to speak to the incredible nurses of our province. And while I recognize that this is, isn't the way any of us ever expected to celebrate this first awards ceremony, I am so pleased that you found a way to move forward. It's so timely that we're holding this award ceremony because the dedication and commitment of our nurses has rarely been so evident as it has been during the COVID-19 outbreak. The truth is, if I could give you all an award today, I certainly would. Your pro professionalism, your bravery, and your compassion are on display for our whole province to see and we are all thankful for everything that you do. And I think that's been demonstrated by the spontaneous acts of appreciation that have sprung up across the province and across Canada for healthcare workers, especially nurses. I know a great deal of the work my colleagues and I are doing has been focused on how we can help those of you on the front lines of this outbreak. Our government has made the health and well being of all Ontarians our foremost priority, and that those especially include those of you who are working so hard to help stop the spread. But this outbreak is just a reminder of the depths of your conviction. Even before most of us had heard the term COVID 19, you were already working hard to provide excellent health care for your patients. I'm sure everyone has a story of a nurse who has helped them in time of need, who was there at a difficult time with a smile to reassure them that they were safe and being cared for. Today, we recognize three such nurses for their efforts to, efforts to champion your profession in the fields of practice, policy, and political leadership. I want to thank them for their continued commitment to patients across our province. They are the first recipients of these awards, setting the standard for nurses in Ontario. And to the nurses of Ontario, nominated or otherwise, I want to say thank you. Thank you for all that you do for us each and every day. Please know that our government and the people of this province are standing behind you during these challenging times. 
and that we appreciate your efforts more than we could ever express. So thank you. And I hope that the rest of the awards presentation goes very well for all of you. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Minister Elliot, for joining us in celebration today of the Nursing Now Ontario Awards and these three amazing nurses. Your words reflect a true recognition of the importance of nursing to the health system. And please know we are all here to support the people of Ontario as you have so aptly stated we are doing as the province starts to slowly and carefully open up. Also here to celebrate with us today, um, I'm thrilled to introduce Lord Nigel Crisp, chairperson and visionary of Nursing Now. Lord Nigel Crisp is the former chief executive at the NHS and an independent member of the House of Lords who co-chairs the all-party parliamentary group on global health. Lord Nigel is known for his work in global health and was instrumental in creating the Nursing Now campaign. And we are honored with his presence today to share thoughts on nursing and people's health. I would recommend before I pass the podium to Lord Nigel that you Google him and read some of his writings because they are fantastic. Lord Nigel, please. Thank you very much indeed, Doris, and for, the, for those very kind words. And can I just say how delighted I am to be with you on Nursing Week, Nurses Week, and on International Day of the Nurse, and as you say, Florence Nightingale's 200th birthday. And of course, for your first Ontario Nursing Now Awards. It's an extraordinary time, isn't it? Um, as the minister has just reflected and how enormously tough it is. Um, I have been in contact with a lot of nurses in my own country here in the UK, of course, and others around the world. And one of the things that I know, as well as that toughness and the, the problems that people are facing, is the terrific achievements that people are doing. But it is also being noticed. I don't know if it's happening in your country, but the public are really responding to the whole of the healthcare workforce, but to nurses in particular. And I give you three quick examples of that. The first one I learned today that we've had 200,000 more applications to become a nurse to our universities this year than last year. An astonishing increase in numbers. So obviously people are seeing nursing as something to aspire to. The second one, of course, was that our prime minister was in intensive care, as you will all know. He said some wonderful things afterwards about the two nurses who had spent 72 hours essentially with him, looking after him about their care and their compassion, but also about their knowledge and experience and he knew he was in good hands and interestingly in this global world one of those nurses was from New Zealand and the other was from Portugal and then the third thing which has just happened is and I'll send you the link Doris and you can pass it round is that the royal family have just put out a video from the whole of the royal family for the celebrating the day of the nurse and saying thank you to nurses um, we actually set up some interviews for uh, the Duchess of Cambridge and the Countess of Wessex for various people. Um, but you will see when you see that video that the whole royal family are joining in. So there's a real moment of recognition here, but it's more than a moment. Now, of course, as you said, we set up, we, we uh, lobbied for the year of the nurse and the midwife. Um, and we thought it was going to be more celebration and advocacy. We didn't expect this, but of course, there is an opportunity within all of this to really raise the profile. Now you may ask why I set up, why I set up nursing now. I'm not a nurse. I was chief executive of the NHS for a few years. I've worked in Africa. I've met a lot of nurses. But it was only really four years ago when we set up a parliamentary meeting to look at nursing worldwide that I and others realised just how undervalued nurses were too often. Um, not able to work to their full potential. Now, I think you're better uh, in Canada than in most countries, and you have your, 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 your um, voice at the table. Um, but nevertheless, there is a great feeling around nurses around the world that they're not listened to, they're not put in leadership, they're not necessarily on the boards and so on. And we need to do something about that. And that's really why 
where we set up nursing now. It's grown extraordinarily. Um, it's vision led, which is, as you said, to improve the health globally by raising the profile and status of nursing. Do you know that now we have um, uh, 661 groups in 122 countries? Isn't that astonishing? Um, Amazing. And that is just, and we didn't pay a penny, if I can put it like that. These are all people doing it themselves. We haven't given you a donation to start one in, uh, in Canada. Um, and we've got 27,500 young nurses and midwives on our Nightingale Challenge, which is our locally based development program. So there's a great impetus and a great energy. Um, and I can tell you that we actually, because of COVID-19, we're going to extend the campaign for an extra six months next year so that we'll have a bit of time to reflect on the campaign. I suspect bits of it will still be, uh, bits of it will still be happening, bits of COVID-19 will still be happening next year. Um, we don't know what the future will hold. But our thought is that we want a period of reflection so that we can really draw the lessons and really advocate and celebrate uh, the achievements of nurses. Let me just finish with just three, the three areas which I think are so important um, for uh, health, not for nurses, but for health and for what you do in health. And the first one is that whole primary care, community care, care in people's home, that whole wide area there. And I believe you've published a report today on nurses at the centre of that. Well, I think nurses are at the centre of that. I think it's going to be increasingly recognised at the centre. I think they need to be the leaders. With technology, we're going to do much more outside hospitals and, and institutions. And actually, people will feel safer in their own homes. I think COVID-19 has given everyone a shock. The second area is specialist nurses, obviously intensive care nursing but also all the specialities. We need to see more of the uh, expertise that nurses uh, can bring into all those areas and recognised, as I say, by our Prime Minister. And then the third area is advanced nurse practice um, and nurses taking on a wider range of roles. And this is all about leadership. It's about um, advocacy. It's about understanding how you get things done. And it's about helping shape the health system for the future. And I think nurses are absolutely at the heart of that. And that's why I'm so delighted to be with you, so delighted to be celebrating with you, so delighted to be celebrating the three people you've picked out uh, uh, as your award winners and to be joining you for a few minutes this evening. Um, really impressive to see what you are all doing and I wish you every success for the future. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Nigel, Chris, and it's so um, really fantastic to hear someone that is not a nurse that has been in the highest uh, positions in your country. Um, I think we are going to put you as the poster uh, person for our civil servants. Um, although I do think that we are in Ontario in particular, fortunate that we are listened still it can be better, right? Still, it can be better. And what particularly impressed me of your remarks, in addition to the three areas that you mentioned, is your thorough understanding of both the compassion and the expertise, the knowledge that nurses bring to clinical practice and also to policy and the corridors of decision making. So thank you so very much for your presence and for uh, sharing with us your views on nursing and health and the solution that uh, we bring to the table. And launching, of course, the Nursing Now Awards. Uh, your words reflect, indeed, the profound contribution that nurses can hold, offer to the world and that we do offer. And the more that nurses are listened and acted upon on many of the recommendations and also the expertise to the table, the more we will achieve health for all. At this time, I would like to introduce to you all Dr. Angela Cooper Bradway, Arrhenios STEAM President, who will present the Nurse Practitioner Recipient, NP, of the Nursing Now Ontario Awards. Angela, please. In I this think... week, to acknowledge the contributions of nurses to the health and well being of all Ontarians and indeed to people around the world. I've had the good fortune of being able to get international as well as national experience in public health 
maternal child, mental health, and community health nursing, as well as in academic and teach at, in academic setting, teaching at graduate and undergraduate levels. But it is my clinical work, the foundation of my nursing practice, that I realize what has made me truly a great nurse. And I say I am a great nurse. The knowledge and expertise of a strong nursing clinician can change the course of the people's lives, which I have experienced in my own clinical practice. As nurse practitioners in primary care have a wonderful role to play in the healthcare system, primary care nurse practitioners function autonomously in primary care settings, ordering diagnostic tests, diagnosing, initiating treatments, and prescribing medications in order to provide comprehensive patient-centered care in collaboration with the multidisciplinary team. These elements that the nurse practitioner provides are reflected in Michael's nomination submission. Michael Bora, I'm gonna say it wrong, has been a primary care nurse practitioner for four years. During his time, he has made a huge difference for his patients and nursing colleagues. Currently in his role as a primary care nurse practitioner to the East GTA Family Health Team in Scarborough, Michael helps care for seniors. He also serves as a mentor to colleagues and clinical assessments and of chronic illnesses in pro and program planning. In July of 2017, Michael pioneered the Home to Stay NP-led program for medically complex seniors, where instead of seniors having to come to the clinic, NPs or nurse petitioners provided home visits, follow-up telephone calls, care coordination, and community referral. As a result, there were fewer ER visits, increased patient satisfaction, and family satisfaction, quality of life, and not to mention the savings of $627,000 per year on health expenses. In 2017, Michael also expanded the Home to Stay program to include a palliative care component where patients can receive palliative care at home. The colleague who nominated Michael said, quote, Michael is a role model in the East GTA family health team. He exceeds his program targets and receives high praise from patients and their families, members from his competent and compassionate care. Michael is also a mentor in his support of others and has mentored the nominator in clinical assessment, management of chronic illnesses, scholastic research, and academic writing. Michael, it is indeed my pleasure to present you with this inaugural Nursing Now Ontario Awards in the nurse practitioner category. I'd like to invite you now to say a few words. Thank you, Dr. Angela, for the kind words. Good afternoon, everyone. I am deeply honored to have been selected to receive the NP Award for the Nursing Now Ontario Awards. I would like to thank the Registered Nurses Association of Ontario, the Ontario Nurses Association, and the Registered Practical Nurses Association of Ontario for the recognition, their commitment to the nursing profession, and their strong advocacy for patients, especially in these difficult times. This accomplishment is not something I did alone, and there are many others who deserve to share in this award. I attribute my success to my hardworking colleagues at East GTA Family Health Team, my exemplary mentors, my supportive wife and family, and the grace of God. The last few months have not been easy for patients, families, healthcare providers, and the rest of the world. We are fighting an invisible enemy that has claimed almost 300,000 lives. Many of those lives are healthcare workers. For many of us, this has become a personal war. As a matter of fact, my wife and many of my family members and friends are working in facilities affected by COVID-19 even at this time. 
their sacrifices and dedication, along with those who are no longer with us, will never be forgotten. This awarding ceremony brings encouragement to my heart because it is a manifestation of our unity, capability, and commitment to our calling. I hope that you too would be encouraged and that this recognition will serve as an inspiration to others in the field as we collectively strive to provide quality care in our community. Thank you and happy nursing week to everyone. Thank you so very much, Angela. And thank you very much, uh, Michael Borja for uh, your tremendous remarks and also for um, reminding us of those that we lost. Um, too many lives and too many broken families and friends. So thank you. Uh, Vicky McKenna, president of the Ontario Nurses Association, will now recognize uh, the recipient of the RN Category Award. Vicky, please. Thank you, Doris. And good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure to be here with you all today and to pay tribute to the inaugural recipients in the Nursing Now Ontario Awards. I don't think any one of us expected that this award ceremony would be done virtually, but here we are. And we, you know, we, we are resilient and we, we mold with whatever comes at us and nurses are actually the very best at all of that, I would say. If anything, the COVID-19 pandemic is a further underscoring of the importance of nursing more than anything else that could occur. The compassion and comfort that nurses are demonstrating in all sectors of healthcare advance the already great respect which, are, which nurses are held. So although the ceremony is not what we had hoped or had expected, but we are using the opportunity to continue to promote and highlight the profession and some very amazing nurses. So it is my honor to present the Nursing Now Ontario Award in the Registered Nurse category to Patrick Campu. And so Patrick uh, was not nominated just by one person, but by actually 10. 10 peers nominated Patrick because they believe and know that Patrick clearly demonstrates the outstanding competence, professionalism in throughout his entire career, including in his current role in caring for residents at St. Joseph's Continuing Care in Cornwall. The nominees noted so many characteristics, which certainly, uh, you know, tell all of us and the reviewers that this was the RN that should receive the inaugural award. He's a team player. He's a mentor, he's a confidant, he cares about his team and the people that he teaches, the care that he provides to the residents and staff, but also he's approachable, he's patient, and he's willing to assist even on his own time. And these are the attributes, I believe, that are combined with a true testament as the inaugural recipient of the RN Award, the Nursing Now Ontario Award in 2020. So thank you, Patrick, for your hard work, your determination for better care, but also to support those around you and all those that will come after all of us. The, the leadership that you uh, provide in your workplace is truly amazing, um, certainly at this time, but I think at all times. So uh, thank you, Patrick, for your hard work and congratulations. Patrick, would you like to bring some remarks? Um, I would like to thank the ONA, RNAO, and WeRPN for this amazing awards and recognition. I would also like to thank all of my great mentors, and you know who you are, um, that contributed to the growth and development. Um, they believed in me as a new nurse and offered me with great learning opportunities. They showed me the importance of nurturing the next generation of nurses and how to create a culture of learning. I truly enjoyed being a nurse and I am glad that I have chosen such a rewarding career. I am really grateful to receive this award and thank you again. Thank you so very much, Vicky, for presenting the award to Patrick and to you, Patrick, for recognizing your mentors. And I'm sure those that you are being the mentor for are recognizing you as it's obvious 
by the many, many nominations. So uh, thank you for what you have done, for what you are doing and what you will still do. And thank you for those uh, persons that you are taking care of also. I'm sure that they are absolutely in the best possible hands. Thank you. Uh, let me introduce and ask uh, Diane Martin, Chief Executive Officer of We Are PMs, to introduce us to the winner of the Nursing, uh, Nursing Now Awards for uh, the Registered Practical Nurse category. Diane, please. Thank you, Doris. I'm thrilled to be here alongside with my nursing colleagues to celebrate the achievements of these dedicated and accomplished nurses and all three of them uh, amazing nurses. Across the province, nurses are going above and beyond the duty of call, or sorry, the call of duty every day here in Ontario. Nursing Week always provides us with a chance to showcase the amazing talents of individuals in our profession. And I'm so pleased we are able to uh, recognize those exceptional nurses here today. It's also a tremendous opportunity to come together and celebrate excellence across the categories of nursing. At the end of the day, to me, that's what Nursing Week should be about. The RPN recipient of the Nursing Now Awards is a particularly special nurse. She works as a tireless advocate who always champions excellence in patient care. She's an R uh, RPN at the Sunbeam Center, and Sunbeam Center has been around a long time. I first visited the Sunbeam Center when I was first in nursing school in 1979. So, and I don't know how long it had been around then, but uh, it's an organization that provides residential care, day programming, and other services for individuals with developmental, physical, and emotional impairments. Kelly works predominantly with complex, medically fragile children and adults with special needs. According to her colleagues, Kelly is extremely committed to providing a strong voice for her, her clients, especially those who may not be able to advocate for themselves. She consistently demonstrates compassion, dedication, and unrelenting support to ensure the best outcomes for the clients she cares for. If a client is experiencing any kind of distress or issue, Kelly will be there by their side each and every step of the way on their health journey. A quality I particularly appreciate about Kelly is her support of students and novice nurses. Kelly is also known as a seasoned preceptor and mentor who always is committed to sharing her knowledge and supporting her colleagues. She is a uh, she is patient and she works closely with students to integrate them in care planning and bring out the best of them and ensure that they are able to learn as much as possible and that is the sign of a true leader. In 2015, Kelly was proud to lead the creation of a nursing professional practice council to promote collaboration and shared governance across her organization. She is an exceptional nurse, and I'm so pleased to recognize Kelly Cargis as the inaugural RPN winner of the Nursing Now Ontario Awards. Kelly, would you like to bring remarks? Yes, <laughs> thank you, Diane. And thank you to We RPN, RNAO, ONA, and um, Nursing Now. I accept this award with deep respect and admiration for all that these organizations accomplish for nurses and healthcare in Ontario. I'm honored to be receiving this award today and I share it with my many colleagues at Sunbeam Centre and with all the individuals I've served in my 12 years of nursing. These special people have gifted me with so much knowledge, wisdom and strength over the years and they inspire me every single day. They have taught me to open my eyes, open my ears and open my mind. I truly have learned the significance of client advocacy. This is speaking for those who may be different or don't have a voice themselves. Advocating for others is such a huge part of our role as healthcare providers, and it's something we should never forget. I also just wanted to say that I share this award with all the healthcare uh, professionals in long-term care um, right now that are working tirelessly every day, whether it's in the pandemic or not, um, to protect and provide dignity to the people in their charge that deserve so much more than they've been allotted. Um, I am so proud to be a nurse, and thank you so much, and happy Nurses Week. 
beautiful remarks. Thanks, Diane, for introducing us to Kelly. And thanks, Kelly, for your amazing work and for giving voice to those that cannot do that themselves. And hopefully through you, they see strength to give the voice in whichever way they can. So I'm sure you, you power them uh, to try to do that. So thank you so very much. Keep going. Uh, colleagues, our this and families, friends of our this. You know, it is very fitting that the three nursing associations came together. Let me tell you what Florence Nightingale said. There is no magic in the World Association. We must never forget that the individuals make the association. What the associations do depends on, on its members. A nurses association can never be a substitute for the individual nurse. It is she, she said back then, today we will add he also, who must each and his in, in her or his own term, give life to the association while the association helps him or her. Well, the winners of the inaugural Nursing Now Awards, and through you, each and every nurse in Ontario, Canada, and all, all over the world, we thank you deeply, for it is you that gives life to our associations, while we as associations help give you a voice. The three inaugural award winners of Nursing Now Awards Ontario, Michael Borja, NP, Patrick Campo, RN, and Kelly Cargis, RPN, clearly demonstrate excellence in the four nomination categories. Your practice is marked by exemplary nursing practice resulting in significant client organizational and community impact. Respectful collaboration with members of the interprofessional team. Acting as a role model, mentor in supporting others to achieve excellence in one or more domain of nursing, clinical practice, education, administration, research and or policy. And advancing the nursing voice to strengthen the profession. We thank you all for joining us today, May 12, 2020 of Nursing Week, the year of the nurse, the birthday of Florence Nightingale. As we recognize three outstanding awardees for their deep contributions to the nursing profession and the health of Ontarians on this inaugural Nursing Now Award. This concludes our award ceremony, but we invite you now to cheer up our healthcare workers. We will give you a few seconds to get your instruments. This is mine. Here you go. So anything will, that makes noise is a go. And if you cannot grab any instrument, there are always hands or whistles or something or scream or song, a pot and pan, a rattle, clapping, etc. If you want to participate and have your face shown, which we need you to, you need to do two things. Put in the chat, yes, and then we will promote you to a panelist. And then second, take your microphone on. That goes for Vicky, Diane, Michael, mics off, meaning mics on. We need to hear you. Grab the things, they're promoting us now, and here is how it goes. And what we will say after the three claps that we do a lot of claps, we will say congratulations to our three awesome awardees for Nursing Now Inaugural Award. Congratulations to the three awesome awardees for Nursing Now Award. We go, one, two, three. Let's wait, let's wait. <laughs> Congratulations to our three awesome awardees for this inaugural Nursing Now Award. Awards.
congratulations. Thank you, everybody. And congratulations again to all of you for the award. Um, colleagues, you deserve it. You make us proud. And keep passing it on because then we will have more and more amazing awards like you, Kelly, Michael, and Patrick. Thank you so much. Enjoy. And to your families, they want to. To your friends, they want to. And to your colleagues, of course. Thank you. Happy Nursing Week, everyone. Happy Nursing Week. Arika, I need to see those babies. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Aww. Where did you tell? Oh my gosh. Are you indoctrinating them to be nurses, Arik? <laughs> oh, lovely. You bet Arik is a nurse practitioner that works with indigenous communities. He's an awesome nurse practitioner that that we know since he was a student. He was he was he was actually the president of the students' association. Now I'm missing one. I only see two. There are more. Nothing. <laughs> oh, nothing. They're giving you a break. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to all the recipients. Thank you. Tell me, Thank is this so the one that I gave? No, that's not the one I gave the red pin. This is the one, yeah. <laughs> this is the one, I thought so. Okay, when she graduates, I need to know. I mean, I do all good work. Yeah. You do. <laughs> <laughs> No! Lots of congratulations in the chat box to the three award winners. That's beautiful. That's beautiful and well deserved. So well deserved the remarks, the nominations, and the remarks that Diane and Vicky and Angela did about you guys are inspiring. And what you spoke, absolutely inspiring. Just inspiring. Thank you. Thank you for being who you are and what you do and the way you do it. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, take care, everyone. You make us proud. Thank you. No one wants no. to go. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. For Happy nursing. Lord day. Nigel, please, Happy thank you for day. being with us. I saw him clapping too. So here we go. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Happy, Happy nurses week. Happy nurses week. Bye. Thanks, Dora. Bye bye. Bye, bye. everybody.